What is good with y'all again? Tonight, this is your boy Top Dot Man, and I'm back with another dot view. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chicka chicka do it on the thing relationships tonight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just want to set it because everybody got their own little way on how they do their relationships and how they into it and how they in tune with their people and all that. But every relationship ain't the same. Everybody ain't the same. So it's a different flow when it comes to you being matched with somebody else. You under dig me? Follow me now. Um, how, I, how I view it is, instead of using the quintessential rules of whatever, you should go along and read somebody's energy, read somebody's aura, read somebody's body language. Um, words mean something sometimes, but most times you can cover up words um, and true intentions with just words. When you show the actions, actions prove a lot. Also, your energy proves a lot too, because you can't change your energy no matter what you do. Everybody has energy and they keep energy. So your energy won't change. It'll, it'll probably switch feelings or switch intensity, but you always gonna have that energy until you go, you know what I'm saying? Then you got spiritual energy and all that. But as far as relationship wise, when you're going off somebody's energy, it's really you getting a good feel of them and a good feel of what can basically make your situation and their situation better. Some people gonna don't don't get me wrong. Some people go into all these other things and, and relationships and everything and situations because it's different types of situations people get into. But they get into them and they basically go for the gusto and say, yo, I don't care who get hurt in this thing. I'm just going to do me. And that's about it. But then you have to jump back and think, are you that type of person? So you got to either adjust your energy, turn it down a little bit, or turn it up a little more, you know what I'm saying? Or balance it out just enough. Because these the quintessential rules of relationships is wild. I don't mean the rules like don't cheat, none of that, dog. That's all set in stone. You just shouldn't do that anyway. But if you're polyamorous and all the other stuff, and you, you know, if that's how you in agreement with your people, then, you know what I'm saying, go ahead. But I know most relationships is really one-on-one -on -one. so get matching energies you know what i'm saying don't go out here and use the quintessential rules of a relationship because as you can see that's not working and especially nowadays these little young kids is on the run ripping and running they're living free so <laughs> they ain't trying to be locked down and a little bit of the older g's um that's around my age are starting to slip into that same mind state too because they like well man it's it's hot out here you know what i'm saying not as in hot like trouble type hot but it's, it's hot out here as in it's it's popping you know what i'm saying it's hot out here it's it's on deck it's jumping right now you know so they want to get out here and have a little fun plus don't nobody want to feel old and unwanted and unused because that's basically how society kind of treat elderly people they kind of pick them up put them to the side and hide them off somewhere you know what i'm saying like them ain't like they they aren't the architects of what we doing and how we doing it right now so i respect all my old, old ogs you know what i'm saying basically who done paid away for me and all my people to do what we doing but they taught me when you get with somebody don't get with them because of looks don't get with them because of intimacy don't get with them because of monetary gains and nothing like that you get with somebody that is going to make you better mentally, spiritually, and physically. Like, if they can help your monetary situation while you're in there, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Don't go in there depending on that because you a grown man or a grown woman so you can make your own money. Um, also, don't be going into relationships to just emotionally play with nobody because that can get you killed. And we done seen a lot of situations where people done got slung for playing with people's feelings. And a few friends, a close friends of mine then got took out the game and stuff like that so you know what i'm saying don't go and play with nobody emotionally um, and 
if you just going in there just to have sex bro you could just be single <laughs> you ain't you ain't gotta go into a relationship tear nobody head off just to have sex man you could just be single and it's all kind of uh dating sites and instant have sex with me sites on here so yeah you you can do that if you want to but i don't suggest you try to hop into a relationship and do it because yeah a relationship based off sex is just not gonna work out so if it's just based off that then you can do that with damn near anybody and you don't have to stay with the same person so you know you know what i'm saying but then the other quintessential parts is you have to schedule certain things and, and times and places and all like that. No, no, just go with the flow of things. Just go with the vibe and ride with it. You know, sometimes you don't have to, you don't have to plan everything. Some things can be spontaneous. Spontaneousness actually brings excitement and freshness to your relationship, or in my opinion to do. I don't know about everybody else, but when you can keep things live and vibing, then you don't have to worry about stuff getting flat where your partner or you is going out to look for somebody else because you're just not popping them. Um, but sometimes the, the, the quintessential relationship is not the same as it used to be back in the 60s or the 50s or the 70s or the 80s. No, it's changed. It's changed a lot because through time, people have um, adjusted and people are more people are coming out and are proud of their sexuality. So you've got a lot of more, you got a lot more people that um, identify as pansexuals and um, bisexual and some people even um, identify as uh, <laughs> eco-sexual. Uh, yeah, it, it is. It's, there's actually people that are eco-sexual, which means they have sex with Earth. Yes. Literally, no lie. You can look it up. Matter of fact, yeah. You can look it up. Just look it up. If you think I'm playing. But, yeah. Um, so, Back to that, just using all of the quintessence or using some of the other side of the spectrum when it comes to the quintessentiality of a relationship is just basically if if you can go with all them other things that I, I mentioned that not to go with, go with them. If you can make them work out some way, somehow, do that. But I'm telling you, I didn't see plenty of situations near and far where it didn't look like it worked out too well so you got to put that in here but just basically get with somebody that is you can have fun with get with somebody that you know what i'm saying in my view get with somebody that you can you can vibe with when you're mad they'll be like okay i know what to do when you're mad they either leave you alone or bother you um somebody pick you up when you say you know all of the quintessential stuff i guess but outside of quintessential stuff make sure that person gives you a little drive in life to do something if if you with somebody and you are not really trying to advance with them then there's no use to just sitting there wasting your time because that's all it's gonna be is just a waste of time and you're gonna be trying to figure out what the hell you're doing in life because you're gonna waste a whole bunch of it on just nothing. So, me, I would say to y'all, um, on my this is my point of view, I'm just saying that sometimes you got to go against the grain to start a new groove. You know what I'm saying? It's all part of the wood family. You know what I'm saying? Grain, wood, groove. You know. But you just got to basically step outside the box and look at the box and figure out is this something else that I can add to this box to make it more expandable you know to make it more roomy make it better for me and whoever else is around me make sure the box is big enough to fit more than just one person in you know what I'm saying can I basically go outside the realms of what I normally do and expand that to basically make it popular for me and mine you know but that's just me because I am that type of person. And I just figured, you know, you going to enjoy life and you want somebody to enjoy it with you, make sure that person is on the same wavelength as you. If not, then go ahead and find your energy. Find your match of energy and y'all go ahead and be the best duo superhero or if you're trying to be super villains, be the best super villains that 
you can possibly be. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, man, my little rapper biz, be good to yourself. Find somebody else that got the same energy and want to do the same thing as you. And y'all go ahead and ride out, man. So, you already know I'm going to listen to y'all point of view. And hopefully y'all listen to mine, man. This your boy, Doc. And I'll holla at y'all next time. Deuces. Oh,